At the recent Polestar Day, we had a demonstration from a company called Storedot. They develop ultra fast battery charging technology and it's done it over the years with smartphones and then scooters, but now it's turning its attention to electric vehicles and it's partnering with Polestar to do this. Their technology will debut in the Polestar 5 in a couple of years time. And this video you're about to see is a demonstration of its 100 in five technology in action. What that means is 100 miles of range in five minutes or 160 kilometers in five minutes if you're on metric terms. Anyway, hope you find the video interesting. This is from the company's CEO and it also includes Polestar CEO, Thomas Inglis. Uh, hello everybody. Thomas, thank you for joining us for our second demonstration. Uh, what we'll do, we'll show you uh, how we take uh, our battery cell. This is a 30 amp hour cell, it's in this box, I'll explain all about it. But I want to start the demo. You will see here uh, how Stodot is doing compared to the best in class and the market average in terms of fast charging. And you'll see the amperage, temperature and everything. So, Max, please, let's start the demo. As we speak, in 10 minutes, you will see that we charge to 80%. Uh, and this is, you know, the experience that it is getting very close to fueling. That's the whole idea. That you stop on the way and you charge and you go. And it's not like the whole thing of the rage anxiety really uh, goes away. So we started, we're already, you know, at 11%, we started at 10. And you'll see here how uh, we compare to uh, best in class and then to the market average. The other thing is that uh, we started what we call a constant current. Of 135 amps, that's a lot for a 30 amp hour cell. That's that's really very high current, uh, and the temperature will rise slightly to about 30, 35 degrees, which is fine. You can get to 40, 50, 60, but it won't. But it can. Uh, the voltage goes up. It shows that basically the state of the charge of the battery, and then it shows here how much of the 30 amp hour, which is the capacity of this cell, is being charged uh, as we speak. So when we'll finish it, we'll be roughly at the uh, 25 uh, amp hour. So the whole idea here is to show that a new chemistry that is based on silicon anode, with a lot of other modifications on there, of course, can really change what is known to be possible with lithium ion batteries. If you take a traditional lithium ion battery that is based on graphite, all batteries are today based, the, the, basically the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 2019. Professor Budena, it's a name you don't forget, he just died by the way, he's 100 years old with another startup, uh, he just passed away, but the innovation there of the Nobel Prize was to show that you can take the lithium ions and store them in an active material which was graphite. But this is a slow process. Fast charging was not part of the design goals. So we said in order to really build on this great innovation, what can you do? You need to replace this active material that holds the lithium ion. And this new material that we are using is silicon. It's not the same silicon as in chips. It's not a wafer. It's powder. It's nano nanopowder with the same element, which is silicon. That enables us to charge in rates that were not possible before. What we are doing here is really considered something that was not possible to do. A hundred professors in the past, over the last 11 years, told me that this will never happen because, you know, the rules of physics or resistance or all that. We have changed that with, by changing the materials, which is a tough challenge. We had 30 PhDs working on this for over a decade in order to make it work. And now finally, not only that it works, we are also showing here the joint work with Polestar on the module, which is how you assemble 100 or 200 or 300 of these in one package and then we also show the vehicle which will be uh, uh, demonstrated early next year which is called star 5 which will show how we actually do it this entire system of charging all these together in 10 minutes in the vehicle and then you can go for the uh, range that the vehicle is designed let's say 300 miles after uh, uh, charging in 10 or 15 minutes so we are already at 34 uh, percent I didn't speak too long, right? Uh, but you can see here that we are at least twice as fast, at least twice as fast as the best in class. You can think about cars that have 800 volt systems, like best, like a Porsche. Okay, so this is twice as fast. But if you take an average car, 
uh, any, you know, they take a GM, they will charge, a, it's about three times faster. And this was, they already pushed the limit of what you can do with, with uh, uh, graphite. What we are doing here with silicon is really a game-changing technology. And luckily, I found Thomas that uh, once he saw that, he said, I want this in Postal 5. So this is what enables us to be here today and really show you that this technology, not only it's groundbreaking at the cell level, it's also going to be groundbreaking at the vehicle level. Yeah, let me pick up when you came with this demonstration to um, Gothenburg and be saw and were impressed about the performance. But of course, big thing for us now was to offer to you, Doron, the possibility to actually take this technology now that next step and actually put it into a moving vehicle. There's, of course, a lot of things that have to be done now to uh, make that module happening, to make that complete battery happening. Um, that's where we work together on the cooling, how it's constructed. But clearly, we are building this test vehicle now. In the first months of 2024, we want to have it up and running. And it's the first ever, first ever car that will charge in 10 minutes. Now this is really, this is what we call the 100 in five. That's 100 miles for every five minutes. We are moving also to the next generation, which is 100 in four, and then 100 in three. So this, there's gonna be evolution of this solution, but the first vehicle on the road that will actually demonstrate it, that it won't be just a, you know, a PowerPoint presentation, it will be a vehicle running. That's in a couple of months. It's already in the works, you can see the toughest challenge is to put this in a module that has the right cooling, and there's going to be four of these sitting in the vehicle. And of course, you know, you can always ask, ah, but when are you in production? Today we can't say, because it's of course, you have to start, like with a lot of things, you have to start, and then you discover, okay, the obstacles, take them step by step. Um, and you can wait forever till there's this great new thing ready, but things are not ready if you don't start working on them. So for us, it's really important to get that process now going. And the beauty of technology that you have there is, of course, this is not um, something where you have to build new factories. This is technology that you can take and bring into battery production facilities that exist today. So it's a very smooth transition and you could once we are far enough with the, with the technology for, for, for maturity, you could switch to a manufacturing that's a, that's very a, fast. That's a very critical point, because there are other efforts there of people trying to take silicon into batteries, but they do very exotic things uh, with the process. You know, sputtering, CBD, all kinds of complex things. We don't. We use the factories as they are, and there are hundreds of billions of dollars going into new gigafactories all over the world. And they are implementing traditional processes. We use those machines, those processes. We only change some of the materials, like the silicon and some other materials. So this is a great advantage. And that's why we keep saying, it's not you know, five, 10 years, it's happening today. This is produced in China, by the way, by our partner, Eve, also our investor. And it we already produced 10,000 of these that are, uh, in order to produce the vehicle. Uh, and we're producing more than one vehicle, we'll only demonstrate one, but of course you have to test it on many. So this is already in production, in large volume, on traditional lines, and we didn't change anything in that uh, process. Yeah, so exciting times ahead for us as well, just right. of course, have this now up and running in that prototype soon. Right, so uh, eight minutes have passed, we are uh, at 69, 70%. Uh, you see the, const the constant current is still there, 135 up. So this is, you, you need to understand, if this was a graphite battery, you couldn't keep this up for more than a minute because the battery would blow up, okay? So constant current at 135 amps for such a small cell, that's a huge breakthrough. And you see the temperature, now it's less than a human body, right? It's just uh, amazing that it's at 34 uh, degrees. And then uh, the voltage is, is already almost at the top. 
4.3 is the, what it's called, the upper cutoff. We don't want to pass there. But when it's there, it means the battery is full, right? And then we're already at uh, 20, 23 out of the third. At, at 25, basically, we are at 80%. This is where we kind of want to stop. Because typically, drivers don't, don't want to charge more than 80%. So what we are demonstrating is 10% to 80% in 10 minutes. That's your normal day. You can do this every day for a thousand times. And this will not degrade. And this is critical. This battery does not degrade if you fast charge it. It degrades like any other battery, but not because of fast charging. Slow charging, fast charging, same. With other batteries, you cannot do this even once. That's the, that's the big deal. So here we are at 80%, under 10 minutes. Your coffee break is done. You stopped at the uh, charging station. Your experience is, is almost like fueling. And in the next generation, it will be exactly like fueling. And then the whole story of the range anxiety and the charging anxiety, which is the number one barrier for adoption of electric vehicle. With this technology, it goes away. And we are really in, in an accelerated adoption of electric vehicles, especially of the high performance ones like we see here today. Thank you very much. Um,